In this first episode, we're going to learn the French alphabet. And the reason I want to start with that is because we need to lay a foundation of how these letters function in French. There are a few that are very similar to English, and there are some that require slight modifications, and there are a few that are really different from our letters. But either way, we'll get them down in this first episode, and I encourage you to practice those and really become solid in how each letter sounds and how it's used. In our second lesson together, we're going to do a phonetics lesson that'll really teach you how to put these sounds together because there are a distinct number of sounds and sound combinations in French. And so that'll be the next episode. But get ready to write. Maybe you want to have a cahier, a notebook, or un crayon, a pencil, or un stylo, a pen, okay? Now, I encourage you as I'm going through these letters to write next to each letter how it sounds, and that might require you to just spell it how you best relate to it, okay? So when you hear it, just write how it sounds next to it, and that way you can go back to it and practice, and also rewind this lesson, replay it over and over, and that way you can practice over and over and become solid, okay? So here we go with the French alphabet. First of all, the A is A, A, B is B, B, C, 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 D is D, D. Now the E is a little different. It's more like that schwa sound in English. It's uh, uh. F is F, F. Okay, now I'm gonna stop here because I wanna talk about the G and the J. These are the ones that typically people get confused because their, their sounds are kind of backwards from English. Okay, so the G and the J are both gonna start with that J sound, J. And so you just kind of need to, the rest of the sound, flip it. All right, so the G is actually J, J, okay, H is H, H, I is E, E, and J is J, J. So the G is J and the J is G. Backwards sounds from English, right? K is K, K. L is L, L. M is M, M. N is N, N. And the O is O, O. P is P, P. Now the Q, in English we want to say Q and we push our lips forward and it makes that Y sound almost. Well, in French we want to sort of tighten up inside there a little bit and say Q, Q. All right, now the R is different, okay? It's different than English. Kind of forget what you know about R's in English. This is going to be in the back of the throat. <clears throat> And you're going to just sort of push air through the back and say, air, air. S is S, S. T is T, T. And the U is U, U. V, V, V. W. Double V, Now that's actually saying double V as you're probably picking up on. So double is double, double V. X is X, X. Y is Y, Y. Now that really means the I Greek is what you're saying. We put adjectives after. So Y. And then finally Z is. Z, Z. All right, let's try it one more time. I'm gonna say it and I want you to pronounce it right after me, okay? A, 
B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z All right, friends, mes amis, that's the French alphabet. Be practicing that. Next time we're together, we're really going to have a great phonetics lesson with a friend of mine who is a, the master at French phonetics, okay? So be practicing, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the Language Tutor French series. A bientôt. Friends, thanks for watching the Language Tutor. If you have a question for me, feel free to leave it in the comment section below the video. And please click subscribe and the notification bell so that you'll never miss any of our language lessons.